To get an ellipse, we start with two distinct points called the foci. Okay, so negative c comma zero and c comma zero are called the foci of the parabola. The singular would be one focus. Now, the point x, y is on the ellipse if the distance to that focus, which I'll call d1, plus the distance to that focus, which I'll call d2, is a constant. Okay, so if it turns out that, so the ellipse is the set of all points for which d1 plus d2 is constant. And if we were to graph all the points, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so an ellipse is an object that's shaped like this. The longest axis here is called the major axis. Okay, and the endpoints of the major axis, which are here and here, are called the vertices of the ellipse. The shorter axis is called the minor axis. These two endpoints of the minor axis are called the co-vertices. Okay, so we have the major axis and the endpoints, which are called vertices. We have the minor axis and the endpoints, which are called co-vertices. And then we have the two foci. The two foci always lie on the major axis. Okay, the equation of an ellipse centered at the origin is going to look something like this. Let's graph this ellipse here. Okay, well, to graph it, let's start by finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay, so let's begin with the x-intercept. To get the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0. So we have x squared over 9 plus 0 is equal to 1. So x squared over 9 is equal to 1. So that tells us that x squared is equal to 9. So that tells us that x must be either 3 or negative 3. Now to get the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. And if x is 0, we have y squared over 4 equals 1. So from that, we have y squared equals 4. And so that tells us that y has to be 2 or negative 2. OK, so to plot the ellipse, I'm going to plot these intercepts. So x equals 3 and negative 3, and y equals 2 and negative 2. And now I just fill in the ellipse. OK, so now I need to label the vertices and the co-vertices. Well, the longer axis is the major axis, and so that's going to be this one. The vertices are the endpoints of the major axis. So my first vertex is there, and that's at 3, 0. My other vertex is there, and that's at negative 3, 0. The co-vertices are the endpoints of the, of the minor axis, and so that's the first one, which is at 0, 2. And that's the second covertex, which is at 0, comma, negative 2. OK, let me give you one to try. So repeat that example for the ellipse x squared over 25 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Press pause while you graph it and label the vertices and covertices. So you should start by finding the intercepts. The x-intercepts are 5 and negative 5. The y-intercepts are 2 and negative 2. So we plot those and fill in the ellipse. So here's our ellipse. The, again, it turns out that the major axis is again on the x-axis. So the co-vertices, I'm sorry, the vertices are these two points, which are negative 5, comma, 0 and 5, comma, 0. The co-vertices are the endpoints of the minor axis. That right there is 0, 2. That right there is 0, negative 2. OK, now let's discuss the equations of ellipses in general. 
Okay, the equation of an ellipse always looks like this. x squared over a number plus y squared over a number equals 1. This side has to be 1. Okay, if a is greater than b, then the major axis is horizontal. Okay, and in this case, the vertices are at a comma 0 and negative a comma 0. The co-vertices are at 0 comma b and 0 comma negative b. Okay, finally, the foci are at the points c comma 0 and negative c comma 0, where c is found by this identity. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Okay, so c squared is the, the square. Essentially, we look at these two numbers here, below x squared and y squared. To get c squared, we subtract the smaller from the larger. Okay, so in this case, a is greater than b, so we have a squared minus b squared. Okay, if the, lower, if the number below y squared is larger than the number below x squared, then the major axis is vertical. Okay, then since the major axis is vertical, I know that the, verti that the vertices are going to be on the y-axis, so they are 0, comma, b, so we take the square root of the number under y squared, and 0, comma, negative b. The co-vertices are a, comma, 0, and negative a, comma, 0. Okay, so to get the coordinates of the vertices and co-vertices, we're always taking the square roots of these numbers here. Okay, again, since the major axis is vertical, our foci lie on the y-axis, and so they are 0, comma, c and 0, comma, negative c, where, again, to find c squared, we take the larger one of these minus the smaller one of these. Okay, so that's always the way you find c squared. Larger one minus smaller one. Okay, let's solve this problem here. Find the vertices, co-vertices, and foci of the ellipse x squared over 9 plus y squared over 49 equals 1. So the first thing we want to do is decide whether the major axis is vertical or horizontal. When the larger number is below y squared, the major axis is vertical. So this is what we're going to looking, be looking at in this case. Okay, so... The vertices are at 0, comma, b and 0, comma, negative b. Remember that b squared is what's below y squared. So b squared is 49, and a squared is 9. So for the vertices, we have 0, comma, b and 0, comma, negative b. If b squared is 49, then b is equal to 7. So we have 0, comma, 7 and 0, comma, negative 7. The co-vertices, the co-vertices now lie on the x-axis. So their coordinates are a, comma, 0 and negative a, comma, 0. a squared is 9, which means a is equal to 3. So we have 3, comma, 0 and negative 3 comma 0. Okay, finally we need the foci. To get the foci, we need to find out what c squared is. So c squared is b squared minus a squared. So that's equal to 49 minus 9, which is equal to 40. So c squared is equal to 40, which means that c is equal to the square root of 40. And that can be simplified to 2 times the square root of 10, because 40 is equal to 4 times 10. So that means that the foci lie at 0, comma, c, so 0, comma, 2 root 10, and 0, comma, negative c, so 0, comma, negative 2 root 10. Okay, so here we have the two vertices, the two co-vertices, and the foci, the two foci, are right around here. So that's our ellipse.